here I got the Maserati Gran Turismo. So in one of my videos, I changed the oil. I'll put the video in the description. So I did the oil change myself. Uh, the first time I had paid 380 for the dealership to do it. But this time they wanted almost 600 bucks. So I wasn't gonna pay that much. It's not because I couldn't afford it, but because I just don't see the value in it. This car is, was very easy. It was just like a normal car. I saved over 400 bucks. The oil and filter was about 150 bucks and that's using the OE oil and the OE filter. So very easy to do. A lot of cars are very complicated. They won't have a dipstick. You gotta go inside the dash and check the oil level or they'll have uh, the filter in a hard to reach spot. And this one was not the case. So I'll be doing the old change myself on this car from now on. I collected a sample of the oil right off from the oil filter because that would probably be the dirtiest spot. And I got this bottle that I bought from Napa. There's the part number in case any of you want to get it checked. You can have it sent off. In my case, I dropped it off into one of the laboratories because I happen to live close by. It cost me like 14 bucks for that bottle. That included the fee for the inspection and everything. So $14 is cheap and um, the oil analysis can give an idea on how the engine is wearing from the inside. So I got the report and I'll go ahead and share it with you guys. So a while back I had heard some kind of noise around the engine. So that's one of the reasons why I wanted to go ahead and get this report just in case they found anything. But everything looked really good. Uh, once I get it sent out a couple more times, it'll be able to populate a graph showing the numbers increasing or decreasing. Um, so they went over it with me on what some of this means. I won't go into the full details, but I'll go through a couple of them. Um, so. For example, chromium, they told me it could probably indicate wear from piston rings, liners, exhaust valves. Now, obviously, the numbers would have to be way higher because those numbers are really small. It's calculated in PPM, parts per million. So, for example, uh, 10,000 parts per million, that would be 1%. So, it's very, very small, those numbers being 1, 2, 3... So let's continue with the report. High levels of copper could probably indicate wear from the main bearings, iron, piston rings, rods, crank or the block. Let's move down to the contaminants. Silicon, that could indicate dirt, maybe from the intake, passing through a dirty filter or something. Um, Potassium, that's supposedly used as a cooling additive, no longer a uh, oil additive. And let's talk about some of these uh, additives here. Molybdenum, I'm not sure if I can even pronounce that right, the one at 52. Uh, that one's an anti-wear additive. Calcium and magnesium are like a detergent. They keep uh, deposits suspended in oil, it keeps them from sticking. So that way they can be carried into the oil filter. Zinc and phosphorus, they're like an anti-wear film. And also uh, calcium is like a corrosion inhibitor. So it neutralizes acids from the combustion chamber. Water, hardly anything, and no coolant signs, which is good. So signs of coolant could probably indicate the beginning of like a blown head gasket or something like that and total base number that's a very important number the way they described it to me was the ability to neutralize contaminants from the combustion and they told me I didn't have to worry about a number like this until it gets down to like three that's when the oil is basically completely broke down and that this number generally starts at like 10 so it was time to change the oil but it wasn't it wasn't at a severe point it was still within a reasonable level 
and I went uh, a year and a half on this oil, three uh, uh, four thousand miles. The car doesn't really get driven a whole lot. So I know that report can't really tell you everything, but at least it gives a good indication on how the engine's doing from the inside. And I'll keep doing those reports every time I get the oil changed. So just because it's it was pretty cheap. And uh, I didn't go into the full de detail on what all they uh, described to me, but if any of you got any more questions, just put them up in the comments. Anyways, thanks for watching.